Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how I make these two pages in my art journal. This is an art journal along with me video, a bit longer, a bit more rambly and chatty, but I hope that suits some people. Uh, my last couple of videos have been fairly short and this is a longer one because some people actually said they prefer to just have it playing or in the background while they're working in their art journals. So I'm going to do that. So to start off with, I've opened up my journal. I've got two pages here. One on the left is fairly nice cartridge paper. And on the right hand side is some scrapbooking paper. And I'm just laying on some pages, uh, some collage, just for a bit of texture. And um, when I say texture, sometimes I mean actual texture that you can feel. But sometimes I mean visual texture, um, a sort of build up of layers and complexity that I quite enjoy doing. And so now I'm coming in with some dressmaking tissue. I do love using this stuff. I'm going to glue it down with a bit of PVA glue. Now, this is what I want for this one. I don't always use PVA glue when I glue down tissue because sometimes I want to keep the texture of the tissue. But for this, I'm going to be painting on top. So I don't mind applying PVA on top. And that's how I glue down tissue quite easily. I don't mind a few creases. I like a few creases. Do you? I like that sort of texture as well. I'm going to pop a bit down here. So basically at this stage, I'm just building up lots of lovely layers. Just getting some more PVA glue out. Didn't quite have enough out there. So in this, um, in this spread, I use both glue stick and PVA glue. And there's this little bit of paper that I really like the edges on. So I'm going to incorporate that up here like that. I just love that so much. And see that hanging over a bit of tissue. Um, keep an eye on it because normally I would cut that off. But for some reason I felt like keeping it. Now I'm adding some lovely, this is my favourite prints, so I've torn it up, <laughs> one of my jelly prints, I've torn it up and I've applied that down in a couple of places. Love those colours. And I like that because on the scrapbooking paper there's a couple of places where that colour is um, carried over. So now the now the whole two pages will coordinate. I'm going to pop that there. That's lovely. It's a shame they all end up getting uh, painted on, but never mind. I think some of it still shines through in the end. So how is everybody doing? I've had a busy week. See what I mean about that tissue? It's beginning to stiffen up there. And it made me think, I like it, I'm going to keep it. I've had a busy week making videos and doing things like that. I don't know what I stretched out for there. Oh yes, I had some leftover. When I did my ATC wallet, I used some lovely stamperia paper and that was at the back of my desk there I thought I'd use that and as I'm gluing that down I'm thinking oh I rather like what's on there <laughs> but I'm going for the pink and I just use glue stick there and here in the UK we've had a lot of rain it hasn't been very nice and summery at all uh, we've even had thunderstorms today I hope the weather improves for the weekend. There's a big football match on Sunday, which I'm quite looking forward to hearing about. I don't have a TV, so I listen to it either on the radio or I watch live updates on the news. I don't normally watch many football matches, but I do quite enjoy the international ones, especially when they get nearer the end to the semis and the finals. It always gets more interesting at that stage. There we go. That's a bit difficult to press down because it's like it's, it's thicker. It's lightweight card, really. So I'm 
struggling to get that down. So we've got a lot of texture happening already. I'm just going to add a bit more PVA glue to that tissue. And I cut out a bit of drying there with the hairdryer. Nobody wants to see that. And I've got my grungy diamond stencil out. And I'm going to um, put some spackle through. I use the, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, the Gear Stacker Light Modelling Paste, which I buy from Great Heart. It dries quite quickly. And as it says on the tin, it is quite light. It does have a slightly plasticky feel to it, I, I, I think. But that's okay because I'm covering it up with gesso anyway. When I say covering it up, I'm just putting little bits, bits on here and there. Just sort of knocking back a bit, a bit. If there's too much contrast, I'm knocking it back. Oh, I did some scribbles as well. I didn't show that, I don't think. Did some scribbles with the uh, chunky woodies. Woody chunkies. Those pencil things. There, I like that. It's beginning to uh, excite me. Just popping a bit more there. And I'm going to come in with the... Um, some colour in a minute. And now I'm putting a bit more onto that tissue that's sticking up at the right hand side. I do love that piece there. Right, so that's dried. Now I'm going to come in, I'm going to do some dribbles. So I've put some magenta on the top there. I'm trying to encourage it to flow. It's a little bit too thick. But once I apply some water, it waters it down. I do do a bit of um, a bit of brushwork on the top there to help it flow. In a moment, there we go. Moving it around a bit more. It's always a bit nerve wracking later when you're later on in a journal doing something like this because sometimes the paint might accidentally go on pages you don't want it to go on. I've got those protection protective sheets behind. I've also got uh, some paper towel to dry to catch the drips as well. I'm just spraying it a bit more to encourage a bit more to flow. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to go from the bottom to the top. So again, just popping a bit more on there. I do love this technique, but um, the messiness scares me a little bit. I quite like the unpredictability of it. That bit's quite fun, but I do get in a bit of a state. And as I say, I do worry about previous pages. But hey ho, let's live dangerously. <laughs> right, now I'm going to squirt the water onto the top, top, which is another bottom really, but anyway, you know what I mean. That's flowing nicely now. I'm trying to encourage it to flow a bit more. So I did do a video a few weeks back of the halfway point of this art journal. I'm not getting through it so quickly now. I'm just doing the art journal prompts monthly rather than weekly because I was using that a lot for that. But I'm going to try and work in it a little bit more. And now I've put on some mm, cadmium yellow, uh, dark. And again, I'm going to apply some spray and get that to spread. And I love it. I really love this result. I was hoping actually this would pick out the um, texture of the diamonds. But maybe I need a dark colour for that. And I'm going to work on that bit, just worrying about the other pages. Just popping a clean sheet of paper behind there because the one got too wet. So I'm encouraging this to flow now. I do like the way the colours run into each other. You get some nice blends. Now I've dried it with a hairdryer and now I'm coming in with some dark. This is Payne's Grey. It looks like black initially, but once you apply the water, you can see the, the fact that it is a Payne's Grey. I really love it when it's watered down. It makes a beautiful 
dark dark grungy blue love it grungy purpley blue gorgeous so i've added some water to that and i'm going to spray it as well oh, it's running already look and i think this improves it the colors are a little bit too sugary sweet and i felt it needed a bit of depth so i'm going to apply some more now these bottles, I am decanting my System 3 acrylics into these bottles because they're a lot easier to use. I don't have this wrestling match with the lids all the time. And also I've watered down the paint slightly, so I've got a, a slightly more fluid acrylic. Now that is looking lovely. Both sides, that's gorgeous. Loving that now, really loving that. I definitely needed something darker to happen on that page. Well, on both pages, Just trying to make sure that's not sticking. Do let me know if you are any good at doing this dribbling thing, because I don't do it very often. Now, I've added some stamping. I forgot to turn the camera back on. So I did the hair drying bit. I always turn the camera off then. I've come back with some stamping so you can see a little bit going on. I'm now going to add a little bit more. I've got my per quarter stamp which came from the same antique shop where my French stamp came from which is the one with the text you can see just there so I'm just stamping those on I'm going to put some more text on as well I'm using my jet black stays on ink I'm going to pop a little bit of texture there and a little bit there as well. That breaks up that lighter area. And I'm just going to get one more stamp out and that'll be enough stamping. This is my Circle Drips stamp there. And now I'm just squirting out some more Payne's Grey. And you can't see it, but I've actually got a stencil down here. You'll see it, the results in a minute. And I'm just rolling some of the Payne's Grey paint over that. And as you can see, it's my clown boy. And I love it. Right, you'll see it better in a minute. On the right hand side, I've added, I don't know if I've glued it down at this stage, a bit of one of my clusters. There, that's great, but I've accidentally got some paint outside the stencil, so just while it's still damp, just spray it with a bit of water and then with a baby wipe. I'm just wiping off that paint, so that's solved that problem. Now I'm going to glue that down. I just felt a little bit more interest up there, worked quite well. I like the stitching as well. And it ties the book page to my hanging off bit as well, which I really love. This has got to be one of my favourite pages. So I've got my ba magic box of words out and I'm going to go through and see if I can find some words that I feel do the trick. And here they are. It says, your walls will not meet your needs. And I think that, um, I mean by that, that if you put up walls and block things, it isn't good for you in the long run. You may feel safer behind those walls, but then exciting things won't happen. So I'm just accentuating the, the words a little bit. I don't normally do this, but I felt like doing it in this one with a little bit of Stabilo All Pencil, just on the right and the bottom to give a bit of a drop shadow. And then I'm going to go over with the paintbrush to wet it and spread out that dark. There, that colour really darkens once it's wet, it's the Stabilo All Pencil. And now that little bit of text stands out a lot better. Here is the finished page. I really enjoyed trying this technique. I've only done it once or twice before, but I really love it. I like trying different things in my art journals. Have you noticed? Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.